We interrupt this broadcast to warn people to be on the lookout for notorious hitman Nicholas Stein. He was last seen at the parking lot outside of the Walmart on 20th 30th Street, where he killed three middle-aged men. Some details about Stein's appearance include his height being around 5'7", his outfit being all black clothing that's covered in blood, and his weapon of choice being a knife. Thank you for calling BoxingThink.com's customer service line. My name is Lance, and what can I do for you this evening? Hey Lance, it's Nick. Oh, hi Nick. Call and make another return? Yes, uh, I'd like to make a return. Let me guess, are you returning a knife? Yeah, I have to clear all the evidence as soon as possible. Oh Nick, you kill me with these jokes. Yeah, you know me, Nick the Jokester. Hey Nick. What are the price tags for these things? Nick. What is it? Can I ask you something? Make it quick. So you and I have been friends for a while. I wouldn't say friends, but continue. And I know you're a very busy butcher, but I was wondering if maybe you and I could hang out sometime? You, you available Thursday? No. Uh, how about Friday? Not this Friday, not next Friday, and not ever. Why not? You've been calling me to make returns for almost a year. I think it's time that we meet in person. Lance, I live a dangerous, meaningless life. A life that you do not want to get involved with. Look, I have other things to do than just return some knives. But Nick, you don't understand. Understand what? That because I make a lot of returns to this website, that means we're automatically friends? You think I actually mean something to you? But it's more than just that. No, there isn't. Face it, Lance. We're not friends, we never were, and we never will be. I don't need you or your compliments, so will you stop wasting my time and make my return? I understand. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Thank you. I was wondering if... Boys! Come out with your hands up! We have the house around you! No oh, crap. What was that? Nothing, just my neighbors being loud. Come out before we force ourselves in! I have to hide. Are, are you okay, Nick? My loud neighbor just broke into my house. Oh, oh no, should I call the police? No, no, it, it's fine. He does this all the time when he's drunk. He'll probably leave in a minute or two. But now I have some time to spare. So, I guess you can tell me what you were going to say. Really? Oh, thank you, Nick. What I was going to say is that I wanted to thank you for having an impact on my life. In what way? Oh, well, before you first called me, I was in a rough place in my life. Just a couple months after I graduated high school, my parents died in a horrific car accident. No one wanted to be my friend, and I had no other siblings or contact with anyone else in my family. I was on my own. I had, I had to get this dead-end job just for myself during freshman year of college. I ended up getting kicked out for flunking most of my classes. With family college, and having no friends or family on my side, life was pretty grim for me. That was until the day you called. You're the first person I ever had a conversation with after my parents died. With your constant returns and calling my customer service line, I finally had someone to talk to. Someone that I considered a friend. Do you really mean that? Yes, Nick. I'm so grateful that you came to my life. You're the greatest and only friend I ever had. Wow. I really mean something to someone. I'm important. My life isn't meaningless. Don't move! You're under arrest. Nick? Oh, crap.
Well, Nick, you're free to go. Why is that? A young man by the name of Lance Miller paid your bill. How could he afford that? I don't know, but in fact, he fully paid the $75,000 bail bond. Well, there's some uh, forms you have to sign and uh, you'll be ready to re-enter society. Let's go. Lance! The one and only. I can't believe it. How'd you do it? Well, while you're incarcerated, I found out I had a grandmother. And she lent me 75k. So, I decided to use that to bail you out. Wow, you didn't have to. That's what friends are for. To help each other out through tough times. Well, now since I'm out of prison, do you maybe want to hang out? No, oh, you know me so well. <laughs>